Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about the newest bit of content that was added to the Heart of the Ruins update, the Fuel Weaver. They just added a brand new skeleton boss for us to fight, and this one is much more difficult than the last one. This boss fight will require you to access the Ancient Gateway via the Atrium. If you don't know how to access the Atrium, you can see how to do that in my previous video discussing this. I've added a card to the top right of the video linking it, just in case. Within the Atrium, you'll put down 8 fossils and create a skeleton. Remember, it has to be the one you see here. Use an ancient key, which can now be obtained from killing the ancient guardian on the gateway. This will activate the gate, allowing you to now add the shadow atrium to the skeleton. This will reanimate the skeleton into what is known as the fuel weaver. This boss has similar characteristics to the stalker, which can be animated anywhere else in the caves, such as his attack, animations, and bone prison mechanics. However, this guy has an AoE attack which will drop bone spikes from the sky, causing damage to anyone who is caught underneath them. After you deal a fair amount of damage to the Fuel Weaver, he'll put up a barrier that you cannot damage him through. He will also summon Woven Shadows from time to time, and I believe when he consumes these, he heals himself. Kill these creatures before he can make use of them. In order to do damage to this boss during this phase, you'll need to attack the unseen hands that are only visible when you're insane. I highly recommend the Nightmare Amulet for this fight. When all of these hands have been destroyed, his shield will be lowered and you can begin damaging him. This cycle will repeat itself a few times until he finally dies dropping the fossils, some nightmare fuel, a rose, and a shadow thurible. That rose makes me wonder if we'll be seeing Charlie here soon. The gateway will then become unstable, causing the caves to shake, but I've not yet seen any way to move past this. I believe this will come in a later update. The shadow thurible can be used to control the reanimated skeletons to a certain extent. On the surface, the forest stalker will follow the character around if they are wielding the thurible. If you unequip the item, they'll resume wandering aimlessly. You can also use Nightmare Fuel in order to refuel the Thurible if the durability is running low. If you use this with the Cave Stalker, he will follow you and you can even use him as a means to attack enemies. This is a pretty cool use, I have to admit. I was unable to get the Fuel Weaver to follow me when using the Thurible, however, so be careful if you're giving that a try. That's gonna wrap up things for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you all a brief overview of the latest update to the Heart of the Ruins update. I gotta say, I'm really liking what they're doing with these patches. This stuff gets more and more interesting with each update. Here's hoping that we get to see Charlie behind that portal. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button as it does help me out. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.